we'd always say, hey, you know, to the other guys, be really nice to him because he's not going to be little forever, man. <laughs> <laughs> that kid in like five, 10 years, look out, man. Be nice to him now because he might not be so nice to you later. You know? <laughs> yeah, I saw yeah, a lot exactly. of kids start 14, 15 in adult classes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the adult men sometimes would smash them. Big mistake. By the time that kid was 17, 18, 19, he would definitely get his comeuppance, you know? <laughs> you know, that's, that, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's a fun, it's funny that you should say that because last night I was, uh, I was at judo practice. And you know, there's like the, these, uh, these, like there's these two brothers, right? One of them's 12, the other one's 14. And I think they're both, one of them's green, the other one's blue belt. But these guys have skills though. They're technically sound. Problem is they're really small. The bigger brother yeah. beats up on his younger brother, but he only has about two years left before his brother uh, gets to his size. And then after that, it's, it's game over. I mean, like, even Steven, man. Exactly. <laughs> but the 14 year old, like I go nice with that guy because I know that when when he hits um, puberty and he starts putting on some muscle mass, so he's 14 now, let's say he ki it kicks in around, you know, 16 and he's 16, 17 and he fills yeah. out, he's going to, he could, he, he's going to whoop my ass. He can light you up. Man. Yeah. yeah so, he'll, he'll light me up because he's technically better than me and he has, he, he will remember, he will remember. Yeah. He'll, he'll always have kindness and mercy in his heart for you as he starts to go up the ladder you know yeah you know and i'm not i'm not getting any younger i'm 42 so if i'm if i'm a if i'm a jerk to him now <laughs> it's gonna That's be gonna, uh, karma karma is you know is a bitch man <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah man hey so yeah so i always tell my guys be nice to those young upcoming kids man you mm -hmm. know hold back a little bit play bottom don't smash the little guys because they might, they're, you know, these kids aren't going to be little forever. And yeah, it's yeah. just, and, you know, it's the same, you know, wrestling with females or smaller, weaker people. You always give them the advantageous position, put yourself in the worst position. If you sweep them or come up, you, you know, you let them sweep your back. You know, you help them escape. You try to help each other develop a little bit of the back, you know, instead of just always making it like this big competitive tournament, you know. Mm -hmm. That's quick way to get burnt out and getting hurt people that are hyper competitive big mistake big mistake yeah no no i like um what i've um what i try to do now is that i try to train mostly with people who are lighter than me who are a little bit lower level so that i could just focus on technique and certain yes. and focus on certain aspects of my game yeah, uh, I'm not trying to smash them at all. I'm just, yeah, I'm, just, no, you just I'm just working on my thing. If I get them, I get them. But if they get me, I let them get me. You know, I'm not going to muscle out of, uh, you know, their throws or whatever. And then from there, once in a while, I'll go with um, guys who are um, who are at my level, my weight. And then once in a blue moon, I'll go with the, like the really advanced guys. Because those guys, essentially, that's where I, I'd go if I just want to test out a skill that I've been working on. You know, test myself a little bit, a little bit once in a while because I fit, I find it there's no sense in me to go with these guys all the time because all I do is get smashed, and you get hurt, and you don't really learn that well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Unless unless they play down a, a notch, you know, if mm -hmm. they play down a notch. But you're right, going with people that are a little bit smaller, a little bit weaker, a little bit less skilled, it's like resisted uh, drill. You're drilling, you know, you can get the technique. And you just perfect your timing, your precision, your entries, you know, your your counter throw should they happen to stop your 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 main attack. And you get really good that way. 